Welcome to Styria, a lush green region in the southeast of Austria where they turn grapes into wine, pumpkin seeds into culinary oils, and fire into speed. This is Yamaha Yacht's home base. This is where the team mechanics build the perfect stage for fuel to meet air, then set this mix ablaze, pumping out over 200 horsepower. This is where their suspension, tire and electronics engineers harness every single engine pulse to unleash its power on bridge stones with a contact patch the size of a playing card. Bridge stone? I guess the factory is, after leaving MotoGP, so interested to, to keep the pace of racing that they really will involve all the best they have and not just participate. They want to prove that they are the best. In reality, it was our dream partner. We pushed a long time to get Bridgestones because uh, we are sure, we know it, uh, we have a big advantage. Time is your enemy. Split seconds lost or found add up to defeat or victory. So you prepare yourself, you test, you train, you go looking for the fastest way around a track, and then you go further, go faster. Endurance racing is not a marathon, it's an 8 to 24 hour sprint. So you select tyre compounds for wet weather, cold weather, surprisingly hot weather and everything in between. The one thing that's for certain is that nothing's for certain. You just show up, shut up and go beyond your best. You get ready to fight your way through what could be four seasons crammed into a day, a night and back into the morning light. Always wheelie. Yeah, until now we test some uh, rear tires, some front tires, some uh, different compounds, and uh, yeah, it worked really well. And uh, yeah, the track is good. It's maybe not the perfect condition because we have much wind and uh, temperature is not so high. But uh, we need like this uh, temperature for Le Mans to be uh, competitive, you know, to uh, know which tires we need. And uh, yeah, I think it's a really good test for us. And uh, yeah, my lap time is really good. Didn't expect it that, so close to the lap record. And uh, yeah, that makes us happy, you know. Which brings us to the legendary circuit of Le Mans and the first chance for the Yacht team to properly test their metal against the rest of the Endurance World Championship field in 2017. Ready for the 24-hour race which will take place here just around the corner. To get a look at the intricacies of this 4.1 kilometer circuit Bugatti, there's Brock Parks. Hey, here we go. First time I've been on the Bridgestone, so we're trying to test for the race that we see how quick we can get them up to temperature. It's really important not to get sucked in. It's easy to drag you in, get too wide and miss the drive. You run the ripple strip all the way out to the outside. You pull top gear here and then hard braking. It's important to try and get in this corner not too early. And you get a good drive out. The section of the track is very tricky, you've got to try not to attack it, keep the, keep the flow and get the bike up onto the meaty part of the tyre. Okay, we're going to the last corner. It's like two corners, but we make it one and get a good drive onto the straight, run it out, wind it up. Okay, that's a lap. Yes, uh, endurance racing is um, yeah, very unique. It's uh, something that I think that you need time to learn, you know. Um, when I first started, um, I used to try and race like a sprint race, like Superbike, but when you try and do that for 24 hours, it's very quickly, you, you run out, you get tired. So <laughs> the most physical, but also mentally demanding, you know, races. So especially Le Mans, if it throws the, the weather during the race, which is, normally common, not just rain, but even so cold. And uh, to keep the concentration uh, can be difficult at times. Uh, 
it was really early, obviously, uh, and uh, I was the first or second outing, and uh, I was just pushing like uh, we had the test before. I had a really good feeling for the front, and they actually lost the front. So I uh, still don't know why I lost the front, but things more crash, everyone can happen, and uh, yeah, it was only the test, you know, for the race it should, shouldn't happen. そうですまああのー、すごくみんなファミリーみたいにこう家族みたいに接してくれて、まあ、すごくあの本当に楽しみながらできてますし、まああのー、みんなでこう4人のライダーで協力し合いながら、まあ、セッティングなど話し合いながらうまくできてると思います。Flow. You need to flow the bike, and the last part is a little bit tricky, but uh, not uh, not strong, pretty tricky. So I like more the first part. I like more fast corners and high speed corners. Yeah. The team is a factory team, but all in all, it's still a family. You know? It's a racing family. It's an international racing family. It's a asylum for crazy motorcycle maniacs. So as the sun sets in the west of France, the team has emphatically topped the timing screens. Dominant, both bikes, good. But this was just the test. The real thing is a different beast entirely. When we come back here, it is for the most famous motorbike endurance race in the world, the 24 hours of Le Mans. And as you take the start, standing there, ready to run, ready to jump on the bike, you know you're about to embark on a flat out mission through the day, through the night, and through the day again for 24 hours. Imagine. Thanks for watching. Join us next time for the real thing.